uh, I hate to say this, I had tears coming out of the corner of my eye at first because I can't believe that me, Kevin Duncan, is, you know, sitting here getting bombarded with protons at two-thirds the speed of light. Um, this happens to other people. You know, it happens to your relatives or your friends or somebody you read about in the newspaper. It never happens to me. But you have two choices in your life. You can, you, you could be worried and concerned about things or you can take charge and turn it around. It was time for my full body physical and they discovered that my PSA numbers were very high. So they sent me into a specialist within the hospital where they did a biopsy and determined that I had prostate cancer. I was reading books and spending a lot of time on the internet trying to learn all the different types of, of um, ways to eliminate the cancer. When it came down to it, there really was one, only one answer. When I first met Kevin, I think I walked into the room and he bounced up from his seat, um, a very firm handshake um, to say hello, and just a lot of energy and excitement. I think he came in with a lot of knowledge and understanding about what his options are and what he thought was right for him based on his priorities. I didn't feel there was any hidden uh, topics, any hidden subjects, any hidden words. I think of proton radiation as just yet another tool um, in the tool belt. The fact that it goes into the body and doesn't come out the other side, it brings us closer to killing the tumor without harming the patient. A way to think of it is a pencil beam that can be directly outlined the entire prostate area, the shape of your own prostate, to an uh, accuracy level of less than a millimeter. Goal as a radiation oncologist, kill tumor, don't harm patient. And I think for the right clinical scenario, proton therapy brings us closer to that. She laughed at my jokes. <laughs> he, he's a funny, funny man. Um, I laugh a lot, I think, when I'm, when I'm with him. I have 100% of my energy back. Um, it's like it was a, uh, a distant memory now. When I saw him today, he said that he was ecstatic that he was able to work nonstop this weekend. That's kind of his definition of being recovered. I think he's definitely someone that I would hope, you know, this treatment was a speed bump for him and that he will go back to running on full force um, at 110%, which I think is normal for him. That's, that's my hope.